This was an experience, y'all. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are testing out LYS beauty if you guys have not heard this is going to be the first black owned brand that's launching at sephora you guys the first 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 black owned clean beauty brand so um it's actually available right now on their main website but if you guys want to wait and shop on sephora it will be available on the 19th so it looks like they sent over quite a few things and i'm gonna do my makeup like i normally do i haven't pulled out any other like you know new products these are just going to be the only new products that i'm putting on my face because i really want to just focus on these products and not anything else really so yes i'm excited okay let me show you what i got first of all so i know some of you probably have already seen some reviews on this brand but um really quickly um they sent over two foundations so i got the shade dg7 and um dpg1 and this is called the triple fix serum foundation and it retails for 22 dollars they also sent over uh what is this a gripping serum primer Ooh, skin it's called the secure skin gripping serum primer how much is this okay so the primer is 20 dollars. i also received two blushes these are their high standard satin matte cream blushes and these are 16 dollars um i have the shade confident and self-love and i got their triple fix translucent setting powder and this is in the shade ambition medium tan so how much is this 18 dollars. and i also received their um, no limits matte bronzer in the shade strength which is dark um, and the bronzers are 18 dollars they included a brush which brush is this one okay this is a really really cute brush you guys so cute how much are their brushes you know i didn't see their brushes on sephora so you're gonna have to um get these off of their main site so this one is their foundation brush and how much is it where is it 15 dollars. and the last thing that i got is the Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil, and this retails for $12. All right, so let's play in this stuff. Very first thing I need to do is put on some SPF, and this is my Tula Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. Yeah, daily, yeah, daily sunscreen gel with SPF 30. Now, before I put the primer on, I wanna try the lip oil first, because y'all know I like to put something on my lips before anything if i can get it open i like how they package their stuff all right so here is the lip oil do these come in different shades no so it's just this one color and it's like a pink clear pink let's see i don't smell anything Oh, this is glossy. I like this. Okay, so on here it says a long lasting hydration, high shine finish, doubles as an overnight treatment. So you can wear this like as a, um, a lip mask if you want. So let's try the primer. And this is supposed to be a gripping primer. So I wonder if this is going to be um, kind of like, I know I always compare like gripping primers to the Milk Hydro Grip. Give it a little squirt. So this, oops, comes out clear. Okay. So it feels, oh, okay. I'm noticing when it starts to dry, it does get, yeah, it's getting pretty sticky. Okay, so when you first put it on, it feels pretty liquidy, but once it starts to dry, yeah, this is pretty, pretty sticky on the skin, okay. Okay, so let's see how the foundation is gonna look. I don't know if these are gonna be like a perfect match, but we'll see. And look how, y'all, look at the packaging of the foundation. Freaking pretty. It just looks like it'll be something that's more expensive than 22. So you get a pump, which is nice. I'm gonna take this 
little um, makeup palette from DSMD Shop. And we're gonna squirt it on here first because I don't know how the shade is gonna look. And I wanna, okay, so that's that one. Again, this is DPG1. Now let's try this one, which is DG7. And see how this, I think um, DPG1 is a little, maybe a little too dark, but let's see how this one is gonna look. Yeah, we're gonna do this one instead because I feel like that'll be my perfect match right there. So DPG7, no, DG7. Let's try her out. I'm gonna take my sponge that I got from, actually, let's use the brush that they sent over. So we're gonna try the brush out. We're gonna do the brush on one side and then the sponge on the other side. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do it over here. Can y'all, hold on. This is actually spot on, the color. Like spot on, hold on. Mmm. Hold on. Wait, what is that doing? What is Okay. All right. As I blend this in, I don't know what it's doing right here, but there's some patches going on right there. This is kind of oxidizing. Like it wasn't that dark when I first started blending it out. So let me put on a little bit more because I am out of that color. Like, is it just me or is the color like oxidizing? See how it goes on light? It's kind of hard to work with a brush. That's why I usually like to do a sponge, but I just want to do it with the brush on this side. Um, what is it doing? What is happening? Yeah, I'm gonna take this off because I don't know what, like, look at that. What is this? Okay, so I washed my entire face, y'all. <laughs> the entire face. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't even put my brows on. And y'all know I do that before anything. <laughs> so good thing I didn't put my brows on because I would have been so mad if I had to wash my brows off. So we're gonna do my brows um, first. Well, first let me prep my skin before I do anything. All right, y'all, round two. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully it doesn't mess up because I'm gonna use a sponge. <laughs> but y'all, my face feels so tight from this primer. I wonder if that was why, like I wonder if the brush was moving the primer around with the foundation, which is why it gave me those patches. I don't know. I really don't know, but let's try the sponge and see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna use a sponge from DSMD. <sighs> Please don't mess up. I'm gonna not put anything up here yet because if I have to wash it off again, I'm just not gonna use the primer and just use a foundation with the primer that I've been using. But I wonder if the primer has anything to do with it. <laughs> the color is pretty though. It's just, I, mm, what is going on? What is that? I really hate for this review to go left. I really, really, really don't want it to go left. What is that? Is it se it's separating again, y'all? And right here. Okay, I'm not gonna use a primer because it's so sticky. I'm gonna take this off one more time, y'all, and just use what I usually use with my foundation, so I'll be back. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the last time, y'all. Like, I promise, this is gonna be the last time I try this. The last time. This time, I'm just gonna use my um, 
my Huda Jelly Primer because that's what I've been using with pretty much all the foundation I've been wearing. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let me put this on and then we'll go back to the foundation. All right, y'all, let's try this again. I'm gonna take two squirts of it and take in my sponge and let's blend her out. It actually feels better. Mm, okay, this feels 10 times better. Like just pressing the sponge on my skin, it feels better because it was so sticky. Yeah, this is so much better. Okay, yeah, I don't like the primer. <laughs> I don't like the primer. All right, so there we go. It's gonna look so much better once I put on the concealer, but I mean, obviously the shade is um, not my perfect match, but the finish is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more. Now they don't have a concealer, so I'm gonna quickly put on um, a concealer that I have been using for a minute now, which is the um, Lip Bar. I'm gonna use this to highlight. So the next product that I wanna try out is the setting powder. I wonder if this shade will be something that I can set my concealer with. Let's open her up. I love, love, love their packaging, y'all. Really, really cute. Okay, yeah, this will be something I can set my concealer with. Perfect, so let me blend my concealer out. All right, let's see what this setting powder is working with. It does come with a mirror. Let's see how this is gonna look. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, this. Oh, that is nice. Nice, okay. If I had a better match in the foundation, I would, I mean, obviously I would love it even more, but I'm loving this powder. I'm gonna get my side of the, the side of the face like I usually do. I'm gonna take another powder since I don't have another shade in this and just set the perimeter. Well, you know, the temples of my forehead, the side of my cheeks, and then under my jaw. So that way the foundation, like the actual foundation can be set. Whew, y'all, we have, <laughs> this was an experience, y'all. Now that we pulled it together, it looks good. Really, really good. Um, let me put some of this on my lips because they're so dry. They're so dry. We finally made it to the bronzer, y'all. There's five shades in total. So the shade that I got, this looks so good. This is um, the next to the darkest shade in the shade Strength. This looks so good. Let me find a brush that's clean. So Colored Rain just launched some new brushes and I ordered this one. This is the large powder brush. I'm gonna use this with the bronzer. I don't know what just happened, but everything just went off. And I don't even know if my first reaction was recorded. <laughs> but this is what the bronzer looks like. It looks really, really good. And I was saying while I was applying it that I like to go um, a little heavy with bronzer on my forehead, which is why, you know, look at that. But it looks good, I like it. So yeah, bronzer looks good. So, so far bronzer, the translucent setting powder, um, and the lip gloss are my faves. Now I'm gonna take, we have cream blushes and that's actually it. So let me do the rest of my face really quick and then we'll do the blushes um, once I get to that step.
right, so clearly I didn't feel like putting on any lashes. So we're just gonna stick with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, which has been my fave. Now, last thing to try out are these cream blushes. So, Confident and Self Love. I feel like Confident may be the one that I use because it looks like it'll be an everyday type of shade. Oh yeah. So there is Confident. And let me show you Self Love. Ooh, this is pretty too. It looks more pink on the um, packaging than it does when I open it up. Okay, which one do I wanna use? Let me put them side by side. Let's do, which one should I use y'all? Let's do this one, confident. Yeah, confident. Now normally I would take a sponge to apply my cream blush, but I'm just gonna use this brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their Retro Paradise brush, and this is how it comes. It's not dirty, it's clean. It just looks like that. But I'm gonna take this and tap it into the product and then tap it on my face. I don't wanna go back and forth because I don't wanna move um, anything that's on my face. We're just gonna tap it. That's a pretty color. Ooh, that is pretty. So I need to set it though. So I'm gonna take my, the brush that I use for my um, all over setting powder earlier. I am gonna use a little bit, girl I'm everywhere right now. I'm gonna use a little bit of that translucent powder and I'm just gonna tap it in there just like that and then kind of take it over the blush. Just like that. Just so it can set. Okay. I like. Now I can sweep away the powder on my nose. All right, so we're pretty much done with everything. Let me put a lip on real quick. Let's do this lip liner from e.l.f. And then let's do Dose of Colors. This is their uh, Velvet Matte Lipstick in the shade Cork. I got like a little uh, set from Dose of Color. It came with the Velvet Matte Lip, it came with a gloss, a lip liner, and also another liquid lipstick. And they're all the same color. But I wanna use the Velvet Matte because I like the, um, the way these feel on the lips. And the color is perfection. Okay. Mm, that's so pretty. I'm gonna top it off with uh, Artist Couture Gloss in the shade Uncensored. And I'm gonna put this in the very, very center of my lip to brighten it up a little bit. Right there. And then of course I need to spray my face. So taking my Smashbox Photo Finish, this is to lock in my makeup. And I want a little dewy on the skin, like a dewy glow. So I'm gonna take my Cover FX Dewy Mist and go on top of that. So Smashbox first, and then Cover FX. All right, girl, we are finally done. This is how everything turned out. And I'm actually really, really happy with the entire look. I love how the foundation is looking now that everything is set, now that everything has come together. Um, it looks really good. So now I'm wondering if I could really use that lighter shade. I wonder, because this actually looks, it looks good to me. But yeah, let me know if you guys have tried any, well, I don't know how fast their shipping is, so. It just launched on the 14th on their main site. So I don't know if you guys have already per, uh, received your products, if you did purchase anything. But if you did already receive your products and if you tried anything out, what did you try out? What did you purchase? 
What do you like? What do you not like? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Um, let's really quickly run through these products. So like I said earlier, I mean, you guys know my, um, my thoughts on some of the products already but just to kind of wrap everything up let's quickly talk about the primer because this was probably the only product out of everything that did not work at all so um and it's so weird because i've tried other primers that were just as sticky as this on the skin i know um actually the milk i was gonna say the milk but the milk hydro grip is not as tacky as this this literally made my face feel tight um, but another one that's just as tacky as this one is the Cover FX Gripping. And also Elf Cosmetics just came out with one. It's the mint, um, it's from their mint, uh, it's from their, uh, I cannot talk. It's from their mint collection. And it's just as sticky as this one. So Cover FX and Elf, but they don't feel as tight on my skin as this one. So I don't know if it's because it was just so sticky and it just made my skin feel tight. I don't know, I really don't know why it was patching up like that when I was blending out with my brush and also the um, the sponge. But y'all saw once I switched up the primer, I used the um, Huda, which is the one that I'm always, that I've always been using. It didn't give me any, um, any problems. So I will pass on the primer. Now I will say I like the foundation. Um, I'm gonna have to wear this some more. Today's Monday, by the way, I'm gonna have this video up on Wednesday. So I'm gonna wear this again tomorrow. Today is actually, it's late in the day today. So I can't do like a full day wear test, but I'm gonna wear it again tomorrow. And then once I upload this video, I'm gonna have like a pinned comment um, down below and I'll give you guys like a mini update on the foundation. But as far as my first impression, I do like the coverage. I just did not like how it paired with the primer. Um, so after putting on my, my Huda Beauty primer, it, it worked perfectly, but so far it's really, really good. And then there's setting powder, which y'all I'm already in love with this stuff. Even though I just tried it out, I feel like this is going to be this is going to be a favorite of mine. So I'll definitely update you guys on this as well. But after after using it for the first time, I like it. Next we have their bronzer, which I love, 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 love. I just hate that everything went off when I was first applying it. Hopefully I have the footage of that. I'll have to see once I start, um, once I take the card out and look at it on my computer, but such a nice bronzer, love the color. Um, so yeah, that's the bronzer. And the last two complexion products I have are their cream blushes. So again, I use the shade Confident, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so I like the cream blush, super cute. Their brush is really nice too. I just wish I didn't use it with their liquid. I should have just saved this and used it with the bronzer, but um, I like how soft it is and I like, the overall look because y'all know my obsession with pink <laughs> it's just cute it's really really cute um oh last thing that i have is their lip oil slash gloss the glossy lip treatment oil which was another favorite of mine from everything else that i tried out so this the setting powder and the bronzer were my three favorite products from the collection and then the foundation which i still need to continue to use and let you guys know um, in a later video. But yeah, that is everything that I received from LYS Beauty. Um, let me know if you guys are gonna be trying any of these products out. Which product are you gonna try out? So let's go ahead and talk about it down below. And I think that is it. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.